This program contains seven beliefs and values lesson starters to use in the classroom at primary level. You can download supplementary notes to go with each clip at teachers.tv. Bravo to Alpha, position over. Roger that, Bravo, Alpha out. Moving. Ugh. Come on, get up. Get up. Come on. We just need to get as far as that clearing. I won't make it that far. No! 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 Come on, come on over here. What's so funny? Nothing. Yeah, well, get some rest and then we'll move on. No, it's okay. What's okay? It's okay, I'm staying here. Oh, don't be stupid. They're gonna catch us, it's just a matter of time. If you wait here with me, they'll catch us both. Yeah. Which is why you're coming with me. Oh. Oh, now. I'll only slow us down. Well, you can't stay here. God! Get out of here! No, man up! You're not going to let a little scratch stop you, are you? Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, don't you know it's never going to happen? No, get up! Get up! Save yourself while you still can. We are here at the scene of the crime. Last night, what are believed to be animal rights campaigners broke into this animal testing laboratory and released all the rabbits. With me is scientist Professor Marriott, who works at the laboratory. Professor, do you have any comments? Yes, I do. I think it's disgraceful. These criminals have destroyed five years of research, important research that could possibly lead to the cure of cancer. Yes, but wouldn't these animal rights people argue that these are poor, defenceless animals suffering because of your experiments? Well, I don't see how that's relevant. We're doing valuable work, and sometimes that means doing tests on animals. Thank you, Professor. So, quite mixed views here, as you can see. I'll leave you to make up your own mind. But for now, this is Lola Crumplethorne reporting for the Evening News.
Good morning, Year 5. I've got some really exciting news for you today. We have managed to reach our target of raising £500 for charity. Give yourselves a round of applause. Such an achievement. So, Finley and Ella, would you like to come to the front, please? Okay, I think we should give our money to the Red Cross because they um, help other people in other countries, not just the UK. The International Red Cross helps people in crisis whoever and wherever they are. We're part of a global voluntary network responding to conflicts, natural disasters and individual emergencies. We enable vulnerable people in the UK and abroad to prepare for and withstand emergencies in their own communities. And when the crisis is over, we help them to recover and move on with their lives. I think we should give the money that we've raised to Bernardo's because it's a local charity and it helps young people around the UK. For over 140 years, Bernardo's has provided help for the most vulnerable, abused and neglected children. In Britain today, nearly 4 million children and young people live in poverty. These children depend on donations from the public. Nearly half of these donations are left to Bernardo's in wills, but in recent years, fewer people have been giving this way, and that is worrying. So right now, more than ever, Bernardo's children need you to remember them. The future of our children is in your hands. So, now we've watched these two films, we need to make the decision about who we want to give that money to. Excuse me. I thought you might... What are you doing with this? I found it. And I thought you might... Might what? Might, um, I don't know. Where's I... my money? Where's my money, you little scamp? That was all that was in there. I swear! You come back here this minute.
Homeless and hungry, sir. Can you spare any change, please? Lovely fruit and veg. Picked out this morning. Yes, please. What can I get you, love? Homeless and hungry? Listen, mate, you can sit there, but please don't hassle my customers. Binoculars, torch, grandpa's compass, pat lunch, MP3 player, and SAS survival guide. Come in. Don't forget this, darling, and your coat. I have toothbrushes at the camp. Don't be silly, just take it. You will be careful, won't you? Yes, Mum. What about Teddy? Mum, I'm allowed to fuss. Are you all packed then? Mm -hmm. You're excited about going, then? It's all be awesome. Good. We'll have dinner when Dad gets back. OK. I'll call you when it's ready. Yes, okay. Mum. Sorry. Traffic. Hey. That hospital called. Someone needs to pick up Dad's things. There's just so much to organise for the funeral. Why are you doing the dishes? I could do that. I didn't want him to see me crying. So you haven't told him? Don't start. We agreed. Well, he's so excited about the trip. Tim would want to know. Well, I tried to tell him, but he was packing his things up. It's not right for you to hide it from him. Well, I don't see you offering to tell him. Oh, mate. What are you fighting about? 